Now, the latest figures that Malu was referring to do paint a disturbing picture. Nearly 90 miners dying at work last year. That is one fatality every four days. I want to give you some perspective now from our reporter, Michael Marilia. And Michael, we saw that uh, tragic accident at Sabanya Stillwater. And obviously, once again, as we've heard at that memorial service today, putting the focus firmly on mine safety. But we also know it's a perennial problem in this country with tragic consequences. Yeah, that's right, Jeremy. So we have uh, been looking at uh, the death toll uh, in South African mines over the last 10 years or so. And uh, what we've seen is a steady decline downwards. Uh, the death toll was above 200 in uh, 2007. 2016, it was at 73. So it had almost been cut uh, by two thirds. But then, Jeremy, a, a spike in 2017, the number for last year was 86 fatalities, 86 fatalities. And if you look at that red bar at uh, the right of your screen, Jeremy, that's the figure for the first few months of 2018. And uh, disturbingly, 30 miners already losing their lives over the past few months. So we have been making progress in terms of this sector. executives calling the shots. This is a statement from Kusatu saying the company's insatiable greed creates widows and orphans, going on to say that the mine workers that they kill and maim carry this economy on their back. So some strong words coming from Kusatu. The Chamber of Mines, Jeremy, for their part, has uh, defended their actions. It says there's been an increase in seismic activity, in other words, earth tremors, uh, over the last few years, it says it's invested heavily in the research that goes into preventing those uh, deaths as a result of earth tremors. And these are the numbers it's giving us, Jeremy. 2003, 48 deaths related to seismic activity. It says it's managed to cut that down to 14 deaths in 2017. It also says it's spent large amounts of money on the problem, as much as 290 million rand on research and implementing that research into safety programs. This battle, Jeremy, it seems, is far from over. All right, Michael Marillia, thank you very much indeed.